In this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can avoid being kicked out of the Amazon affiliate program. The Amazon terms and conditions are very complex around their associates program, and it can be very easy to, you know, accidentally break them and, you know, end up getting your account terminated by Amazon. In this video, I've got nine things that you need to be aware of when you're working with Amazon and when you're posting Amazon affiliate links either on your site or on your social media. Be aware that this list is not an exhaustive list. I'm sure there are a few other ways that you can get yourself banned, but these are probably the most common uh, mistakes that people make uh, when they're posting their affiliate links. Now, if you do happen to get terminated by Amazon, you can reapply to the program, obviously once you've fixed up anything that you were doing wrong, but this can be a pain because you've then got to update all your links, uh, which is impossible if you're using these short links but can be done if you're using the Amazon affiliate long links. So that's a quick tip there. <laughs> By the way, you should always use the long links when inserting um, your associate affiliate links within your content. Uh, there's an option in the site stripe. I'm sure you've seen it. As well as having to update your links, if you've got any commission outstanding within your account, uh, you'll lose that as well if you get terminated. So I think we should get started. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. So let's get started with the first way that you can get yourself kicked out of the Amazon Associates program. And that is not listing all of your sites within your Amazon Associates account. So basically you have to let Amazon know everywhere that you're gonna be posting your affiliate links. You can add your sites within your account settings and yeah, just copy and paste your URLs in there. You should also include any social media profiles that you're gonna be posting links to as well. So that's a pretty easy one, but it's also easy to forget about that, you know, when you're launching new sites. Um, but yeah, if you launch a new site, make sure that you add it in there as quickly as possible. So that's number one, which was not listing all of your URLs within your account settings. Number two is incentivizing people to use your links. And when I say this, I don't mean, you know, offering to send people money if they click on your Amazon links because that just wouldn't work, would it? Because the Amazon affiliate rates are so low, you would never make a profit. The examples where people have been kicked out of the program for breaching this term is where they have a statement on their site that says something like, um, if you use my Amazon affiliate links, you are supporting me or you are supporting my website or yeah, please use our links because that really helps us out. Anything like that, which I've got to say I have said in the past, maybe not around Amazon links, but around my affiliate links in general, anything like that is classed as an incentive to click on the link. So that, you know, breaches the term. So you've got to be really careful with the wording. And if you've got any statements like that on your site, then you should probably remove them as quickly as you can. So that's number two, which is incentivizing people to click on your links. The third way that you can get yourself kicked out of the program is by mentioning price. I'm talking about the price of the products that you talk about within your articles and within your content. Because prices change all the time, Amazon don't want you to put prices within the content because you know they'll be out of date really quickly. There is one exception to this, and that is if you use the Amazon API, which is a way of pulling down information from Amazon uh, dynamically. And you know by doing that, you can show prices because they will update every single day. I use the API on my sites to pull down product information like images and descriptions and sometimes prices using the fantastic AAWP plugin. Uh, which I'll put a link to now. It's an affiliate link. Thank you very much if you use it. Also links in the description. But yeah, AAWP allows you to create tables, bring down product descriptions and prices and, and all sorts of great stuff. And I find it's a really good way of making your content really rich and yeah, showing off the products that you're talking about in a really clear and good looking way. So the third way you can get yourself kicked out is mentioning the prices of the products that you're talking about. Fourth way that you can get kicked out is by copying reviews or including the Amazon star ratings within your content. You know, you might be tempted to head over to Amazon and scoop up some of the best reviews that you see there and insert them into your content. This is a definite no-no. Um, don't copy reviews, don't add star ratings, even if they're not an exact copy of the Amazon star ratings. Uh, Amazon might think they are. So I used to do this when I first started. I used to add little stars next to everything I was talking about, but now it's just too risky. So yeah, don't include reviews from Amazon and don't include star ratings. 
Number five is not having a clear disclaimer on your site. Now I've talked about this many times before, but you've got to make it really clear that the links are affiliate links and that you will earn a commission when someone clicks through and makes a purchase. Now I've got a video on how you can do this with Elementor. You can easily add a disclaimer to all of your content. Put a link to that video up now, link description as well. But yeah, just make sure that it's really clear um, that you are an Amazon affiliate and that you'll earn a commission. Uh, and that's all there is to it. Just having a bit of text in the footer usually isn't good enough for this. It needs to be really clear. So it needs to be at the top of the article or it needs to be you know, right next to the links to Amazon so that people can't miss it. So that's number five, not having a clear disclaimer. Number six is copying images from Amazon. So you head over to Amazon and then you save the image to your computer, then you upload it to your website, resize it, whatever. And this is a no-no. You should use the Amazon Site Stripe to insert your images or use the Amazon API, like I previously mentioned, uh, with a plugin like AAWP. Now I will say that I have used images that are very similar to Amazon's images uh, on my site in the past. Uh, because the thing is, the images that are supplied to Amazon by the manufacturers are often used in other places around the internet, for example, on the manufacturer's own website. So I have used those images in the past, but what I am very careful of is that I don't add an Amazon affiliate link to those images. And by doing that, I seem to have been okay. However, if you do wanna add a link to your image, an affiliate link, then you should definitely just use the site stripe because that includes the image and the link and everything else that you need. Unfortunately, it's not very flexible, the site stripe. Um, you only get you know, three different sizes to choose from and they don't always look great, but yeah, you've got to be really careful if you're going to you know, start taking images from Amazon. Uh, and in fact, I'd recommend that you, you just don't do that and just use the site stripe or use AAWP and, uh, and you'll be fine. So reason number six is copying images from Amazon. Number seven is cloaking your affiliate links. So this is basically hiding your affiliate links. And you might be doing this with a URL shortener or you might be using some sort of plugin um, like Pretty Links, for example, on WordPress so that you can have you know, nice looking links. But yeah, this is a no-no. You just have to insert links exactly as they come from Amazon. So it's very clear that that link goes off to Amazon. Don't use URL shorteners. Don't use anything to tidy up the links or any kind of plugins to do that and to cloak your links because yeah, that will get you in trouble. So reason number seven that people get kicked out of the Amazon Associates program is cloaking links. Number eight is using affiliate links in emails. Yeah, you can't do this. You can't insert your Amazon affiliate links into an email. Maybe you've got a list that you'd like to send out emails to on a regular basis. Don't put your Amazon links within those emails. If you want to promote stuff, then I suggest you insert links that go back to your website. And then of course on your website, you can have affiliate links, but don't add those affiliate links directly into your emails. So that's number eight, which was inserting links into your emails. The final reason why people get kicked out of the Amazon Associates program is because they're inserting their links into content that's aimed at people under the age of 13. Writing content that's aimed at parents, I think is fine. And obviously you can then link off to um, children's products or whatever it is you're writing about. But if you're targeting young people directly with your content, then that is a definite no-no. It's also worth keeping in mind if you are in a niche that talks about children's products, that your content is only aimed at the parents and aimed at the adults. And you know, just keep that in mind and maybe brief your writers that that's what it needs to be. Uh, and in no way <laughs> should look like it's targeted at young people because if Amazon see that, then yeah, you're gonna be out the door. So that brings us to the end of this video. One last thing, of course, that you need to do in order to stay as an Amazon associate and that is you've got to continue making sales. Um, there's that initial period at the beginning where you need to make free sales within 180 days, but then after that you need to continue making sales as well or they will um, get rid of you. So it shouldn't be a problem. You know, if you make those initial sales, then you know hopefully they'll increase and you'll make loads more sales than that. But yeah, if it falls away for whatever reason and you stop making sales, then Amazon will remove you. Have you ever been kicked out of the Amazon Associates program? I'd love to know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what happened and why you got kicked out. Um, or just leave me a comment about anything you like. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, good luck with your sites. And until next time, bye for now. <music>